Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel today. I'm going to be doing a Skype tutorial, a basic tutorial on the latest version of Skype mobile, and that's version 8.3. So I go ahead and open up Skype. This is basically a new loading screen, and this is the main screen that you first see when you open up Skype. So I'm going to go through some of the settings quickly and give you a basic idea of how to use it. So right here on the main screen, I have the chat section. Now, if you want to open up a chat with somebody, you would simply click on the contact and you would simply type in your message or whatever you wanted to type in. You would use this airplane button to send the message. And some of the buttons here at the bottom, I'm going to go through them really quickly. First, let me go through some of them at the top. So this is if you want to place a call, you would simply click on this button and it would place a call to this contact. Now, this contact is currently offline, so it's going to fail. And this is for video calls. So if you want to place a video call, this would place a video call. Now let's go through some of the settings at the bottom here. So we have the microphone. If you want to send a voice message, you would simply click on that and it would start recording. As you can see, the time lapse right there. And then you would click on this airplane button and then it would send. If you wanted to send a picture to your contact, you would simply click on this picture button and you would select the picture from your photo album and then click the airplane button or the send button. It should be at the bottom there. I have some pictures in there that are uh, really weird. I don't know if you guys want to see them, so I'm not going to click on that. Here is if you want to click a certain, if you want to send a certain animation. So you have all the ones here at the bottom. You have all these animations to select from at the bottom here. Um, but we'll click on one and we'll just send them. And as you can see, there are some many different types of animations here and you could send them by just selecting them. And then you would simply click on the picture right here and then it would send it. And uh, as you can see, if I play that message in my Skype, as you can see, it will play that. And you have a bunch of, a bunch of other things to choose from. You got some other faces. I'm not going to go through them. You guys can check them out. But anyway. Here is if you want to send an emoji. So you click on the smiley faces. You can send all these different types of emojis here. They have so many of them. We'll just send one to give you guys an idea. And click the send button. As you can see, there it is. If you guys wanted to change the font here, or sorry, if you wanted to just change it back to the messages, excuse me. If you wanted to change it back to message, you would click, you would have clicked on that font text button that you saw there and then as you can see, you have the ability to message again. You would click on send, and as you can see, it sent the message. Now let's go back. Let's go through some of the other settings that we have here. So we have the highlight section right here. I'm not really get, going to get into that. That's not really important for right now. Then we have the chats, which I just covered, and then the capture. So you can go ahead and capture images here. I'm going to capture an image of my keyboard, and I'll show you guys some of the options that you can do. So you can either send it to somebody. So if we click on send, you can select the contact you want to send it to and that would send that image to that selected contact. So if we click on Z and we click on send, it'll send that this that keyboard picture to that contact. Now I'm going to take another photo right here and I'm going to show you guys some of the other options that you can do here. So as you can see, I took another unclear photo and Basically, the other options that you can do here is you can color on it. So if you click on the paintbrush tool, you get the color you get the color palettes on the side here on the right side. So if I wanted to change that to a red, I would change that to red and just scribble around there. Uh, here is if you want to add an emoji or some some uh, I guess whatever they have to offer here. You have all this stuff at the bottom, so you can select that select. Let's say the barbecue, you can select that, just move it around there on the screen and you can send it if you want to a contact. And here is if you want to add text to the image, you would simply click on that, type in your text, whatever it is, click on done, and then you can move that around wherever you want it to put that. So I'm not really sure what this diamond button does, but anyway, let's move on. Then we get the save to album. So if you want to save the image that you took to your iPhone, you would simply click on this button and the image should say saved. Okay, so now that we've covered chats and capture, let's let's cover some of these things right here at the top here. So if we click on this icon, we're able to place a call to some of our contacts that you do see here. I only have one contact, 
but if you wanted to place a call, you would simply click on them and it would call them. If you wanted to place a video call, you would click on this video call icon there. If you wanted to call a mobile phone or a landline, you would use the dial pad right here. And within the dial pad, you have the area code, which is at the top. You can change that to all these countries. And then you just basically type in the number and you call them. Now, mind you, you do need Skype credit for this. And in order to add Skype credit, you would click on this button right there and add the bare minimum of $6.99. And you would just type in your, your credit card information, submit it, and then it would add the $6.99 to your account. Now, you could add more money. It really depends on how much credit you want. So anyway, let's go back. We've covered that. This is basically groups. If you want to make a group call, you would click on this group icon right there. And then you would select all the people that you want to have a group with. And then you would click on call. So let's go back and exit out of there. Now I'm going to show you guys how to add a contact. So if you want to add a contact into Skype, you would simply click on the contacts right there. And you would search. You would click on this right here, search people and bots. You would type in their name. So if they're contact information, if you knew their contact information, so if you knew their email address and they had a Skype account, you could type it in there. So for example, if the guy I want to add was named Michael at Gmail, it would show me all the people with this, with this information. I'm just going to exit that, close that, click on back. So now that you know how to add a person onto Skype, you can invite people to Skype by clicking this button here and then sending them an email. You can sync your address book. And here, if you click on groups, you can see all your current group conversations. And right next to groups, you have bots. If you click on that, you have all the bots here you can speak with. You can play games with them. You can find out information from them. I kind of find this useless. I just use Google for all that. So I'm just going to exit out of that. And now over here, we have our settings. So if you click on ZW or whatever your icon name is, you can go ahead and click on that. And here you can mess around with some of your settings. So if you click on this gear icon all the way at the top right, you have access to all your settings and here is basically where you can edit it, edit all, edit this information, just change it, whatever you want it to. So I'm not going to really get into that. I'm just going to get into the really basics here in this video. So I think we pretty much covered everything. And then we have the shortcut button right here. So if you want to add a quick conversation with somebody, oops, let's just go back there. So we click on that plus button, you get the new group, new chat, new call and the rest of all this stuff here. I'm just going to click on cancel. And that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, I just gave you the basic tutorial on how to use Skype, how to add, how to message, how to send pictures, and all of that sort. If you did find this tutorial helpful, then do please hit that thumbs up button. It does help me out a lot. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in my next video.